Oh my. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Oh, she crit. That's it. Charlotte out of there. I gotta land set. I gotta land set. We lost. GG. Second time's the charm. Oh, we're gonna try this again. First video didn't work out right. Well, we're gonna try this again. Nine's not gonna survive, but we gotta keep the rest of my heroes alive. Bars. I've been noticing. Howdy, howdy, by the way. That when I like post the videos where I do a little bit of commentary and talk like that, you know, I get a little bit more engagement. Those videos do a little bit better than just the normal. I talk for a few seconds, put up uh, music, and then let you see what happens in the video. So we're going to kind of talk through this video right now. I'm about to do my best to do the most F2P with this non F2P Rosanna account as we can possible so the biggest problem that we're going to be facing here on the light olivia boss is this passive right here where when you attack her she's getting 12 percent action gauge every time so we want to avoid her first kill off all the ads and then give her these hands that's pretty much it but she gonna hurt oh. she gonna No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Oh, she crit. That's it. Charlotte out of there. We're going to try to do this as best as we can possible. So uh, I believe this is well within everyone's power to be able to do. Oh, oh. We're going to go for a three star clear. The most important thing here is to make sure we do have two snipers available. Everybody doesn't have to live in this fight. So it doesn't matter if someone dies as long as you can get the, the clear. It just says win the battle, bring two, bring two snipers. Win the battle is the only thing for bronze. So complete bronze thing. And then for the three star clear, bring in g -Lat. So we're going to bring in our lap for this just so we can get this extra soul stone that's going to go into our green Charlotte. So we are going to take a step back as well and use the assist formation. We're not going to use burst to add in a bit of extra challenge. So if I fail this, this Video probably doesn't make it to YouTube, but if I don't fail this, then forget about what I said here. <laughs> All right, we just got our red fram, so we're going to use her. She is rocking a bulwark set to mitigate damage. That's going to be important for us. We are going to bring in our Mei Ling here because she's important in our nine. Nine, we just got the Dark Nine. He's actually pretty weak, so I don't expect him to stay alive long at all. Like, I don't, we're not, if he gets hit once, he's pretty much dive him anyway. Oh, he knew exactly who to go for. He like, oh, you out of here. Body bags. He, all right, so we just fight without none then. That was a bit of a waste of our burst. So he's just pretty much here just because we need another sniper to to get the clear. And the only other sniper we really have that we're going to use is the Light Mei Ling. And we haven't started building on her. We, we are eventually. But right now, we don't really have nothing but one sniper build. So we're going to change some of these positions all right something like that is fine so let's get this show on the road not sure if i'm up for another 30 minutes of talking again but we are going to try let's let them pick provokes all right not as good as last time but good enough how about some saps a little bit better than last time. Now nah, you're going to die right after this turn. So we're not even going to bother to waste our burst right now. We're just going to go in on somebody that isn't currently provoked. Yeah. We'll do that. More saps if possible. She never activates that. 
Ooh, now I ate that this time. Maybe I should have put it out, but... He actually ate that hit. That is shocking. Last time he didn't do so well at eating hits. Alright, let's see if we can just wipe this wave. wipe this wave so it should be easier for us so main objective here because I gotta remember I supposed to be coaching my way through this we really supposed to not did that we supposed to have just slow rolled it so we can make sure we have all of our skills up for every wave so we can get everybody underneath all of this beautiful provoke so now I might have some trouble this time around where he probably won't survive a hit so I'm not sure I'm gonna heal him I'm not sure about Bert about giving him the shield this time we, we could shield let's shield let's see if it works I did kind of beef him up a little more than what he was before he's still gonna die on boss but i'm hoping to land like some good saps though like if i can land some good saps if he makes it to the boss then we'll be in a lot better position so let's get this guy low because they're gonna heal him like he gonna hit a cell somebody else should probably heal too yep and then let's not touch nine avoiding nine all right bet okay we're Gucci. Yeah, I got a. I just got the nine, so he's not quite there yet. Level thirty-two, and he's only five stars, so he has really low stats right now. Really low stats. You got. I believe you got to be over what level thirty to start getting higher than four-star level stats. So it's like, yeah, he's really basic right now. So once we get on the 50, he's gonna be decent. But we're looking to six-star him as soon as we can, so we can actually do something. All right, let's take this guy down. So we just take them all down one by one. You know, it'd be nice if I could have got a stun on someone else, but we mainly trying to just take them all down one by one. So let's see if we can break his attack. Yep, okay. We're Gucci there. Um, I really want to save nine, at least to get to the boss, right? At least that much. Let's see if we can damage down this guy. None. Alright, that broken attack actually helped. Can we provoke this guy? Alright, we got the provoke. So, we just want to protect nine as best as we can possible. Alright, don't do that again, person. So, let's hit this guy. Maybe land some sap here. No. And... Let's heal nine up. Nine is actually taking a bit of a beating, so we can actually just go for a regular heal and see if we can get a kill here. All right, we just need to actually land some sap on something, and we'll be all right. We're gonna save our our provoke, our big provoke here, and do one of those maneuvers. Let's see if we can break this guy attack. Possible stuns. Great. Great. So let's kill the big guy if we can. Put something on him. Alright, we got attack down. We got damage down. So this guy's not going to do like no damage at all. Even if he wanted to. And we got the provoke. So that's, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Let's do this. Okay, can we land both here? Possibility? No? Alright, that's alright. So we just put some more damage here. We are using the assist formation. It might be better to use offense more formation or defense formation here. Just because the boss do take turns when she's attacked and assisting might not be the best, but sometimes it works in your favor. It might be that one turn you get that provoke or get that sap or something. Something like that. I guess it all depends, but you know, chances of getting the skills that you want. So keep in mind, we are pretty much using just one damage dealer and the rest is supposed to be tanks. But in retrospect, the Dark Nine will be your main damage dealer because you will be relying on him to land saps or any other like sap dealer that you may have. Preferably some skill ups to make sure that they have 
they can activate their sacks, but I mean, for a free to play player, most of you won't have that. So we just do what we can. Just do what we can. You should be able to work just fine without. It's a difficult battle when you don't have like burst formation and and possibly some of the stronger heroes, so to speak. But remember, we're doing this without a turn bar booster at that. So we got nine two here. So more likely after his first hit, he's gonna die because um, Olivia hits hard, and we didn't get the provoke there. We only land one. So what I want to do is hopefully get the sap here. All right, we did land sap for two turns, and she moves, and ooh nine actually survived there. So we're gonna put up. Our shield here. And we possibly could land more sap. I'm gonna go for another sap play here. And she doesn't sap, unfortunately. Oh, but he was provoked, which is not good. We do have to deal with with the provoke, so making sure your cleric has a hundred percent, if not more, resistance is going to be really beneficial for this fight. All right, she's going to burst soon, so we definitely need a provoke here to make sure she doesn't. So we gotta land, gotta land. Oh, uh, we don't, but we get the damage down, so that should help some. Who she hit though? Okay, she go for Fram. This is who we want her to hit. All right, please stop lagging. Alright, this is who we want her to hit. We want her to pretty much focus Fram all game. Like, we don't want her to do damage on anybody else. I wish I had... Uh, I wish I had a sap on her, because I would just burst with 9 here to uh, create more sap damage. So I'm going to try to... Pass. Like, we literally want to get rid of the ads. Like, the ads are kind of the most important things to uh, deal with. I want to passively take her down, because I know eventually... Eventually, nine is not going to be able to handle the fight. So, but we're going to go ahead and just start working on somebody else. We're going to burst here again, making sure Charlie just keep keeps her shields up, keep us nice and healthy, for the most part. For the most part, and we're going to want to get these ads out as quickly as possible so we can just focus in on her so let's see if i can land a provoke here okay we gotta provoke so we're gonna go for a burst with lap here to get some big damage off and get rid of uh or do enough damage to at least take those guys down so they're in range of death and we watching our turns, how many turns she has. So she's three turns until until she burst again. That is critically important because we want to make sure we have enough burst gauge to effectively, let's heal lap all the way up here, to effectively keep our team alive with Charlotte's uh, shields and healing. So let's see if we can land Provoke. We really don't want to attack her, but it, we do want her to stay focused on Fram. We don't want her to attack anybody else. And let's provide a shield, just to be safe. Just to be safe, we want to provide shields. And I kind of want to burst again with Lat to get rid of the ass, but I kind of want to save some of this burst gauge for just Charlotte to be able to spam, like, every other turn because once we get them out it's just going to be us and the boss and she's going to start moving more often because we're going to be just focusing her but these guys are healing quite a bit too so that's a bit of a problem but if we get one burst off they should be all done so i think i'm going to go for it here you, you probably could wait it out so to speak but we get rid of them so that's good and now the real fight has begun and we still got nine so far so let's see if we can land a provoke 
no provoke here. All right, damage down. That's going to be critically important. We do have an attack down and a damage down, which is going to be uh, a nines out of there, unfortunately. So this is going to be a longer match, which is kind of important for what we need here. She landed a crit, which sucks, but I mean, he's dark. We probably would have been able to do a lot better if we had him leveled up. And then trying to do this, you know, to make it more F2P friendly is difficult in its own. When I know I can just come in with burst gauge, with burst gauge, with um, a different team and just completely clean her clock in like a couple turns. All right, we don't want her when she does do her, we don't want her to crit because if she crit, we have a problem. We're going to need our shield like every time. Because she just does way too much damage. Alright, I think we just do this attacks for now. And we go for another... I think we can probably wait for her burst. Build up us, build us up some burst gauge. For now. Can we get a provoke? Alright, good provoke. Good, good provoke. This is what we want, but we don't want her critting. We don't want her critting. Can we land set? Cause like good sap ticks will help us. That that will always help us. All right. Let's see. If we can get we could provoke here too. And we can kill her damage. Cause she no she's gonna use. All right. Yeah. Let's protect ourselves. Let's protect ourselves. Cause she's gonna use our S two and she can possibly land her provoke as well. And we don't want that. That self heal she gets on S one is a problem too. And it's not like, but we can sap our way through. All right, now is the time for us to go for a bigger hit. To get her down some. And we go for that right there. Since she's completely immune to stuns, that slows us down a bit. But, like, long as we can land provokes, we're pretty much Gucci. So we got one more turn. Hopefully we make it through this. All right, Charlotte, you a champ. 100% plus resist. Um, I don't think my Charlotte has that much, but that is critically important. So hopefully she doesn't crit on this next turn when she bursts, or we can land a provoke with Fram. That's really what we need. Like that's really what we need. Preferably nine alive to land some saps, so we can kill her passively. All right, good. And we break her damage, so she can't heal. But we're provoked, so can we can land another provoke on her? Bet, bet, bet. That's going to be great. So it works out in our favor a little bit, but we need to get our burst up. We need to get our burst up because she's going to move. She's going to move, and, like, we have to keep her provoked or we uh, are going to be in dire trouble of taking a heavy hit. And we don't want her to hit. We don't want her to kill Nye. We don't want her to kill Charlotte. Like, they practically are the two most important here because this is where most of our damage coming from. All right, we got a damage down, so that's going to be helpful. That's going to be beneficial. So this is where assist formation does its best. We didn't land a provoke and kind of wish, oh, she go for nine. No crit, no crit, no crit, because if she crit, we got a problem. Okay, she don't crit. Please don't die either. Okay, great, great, great. She didn't kill him. That's good. He can heal himself back up on his turn. I think we go for a burst here, perhaps. I don't think we need to burst. Not yet. Yeah, we can stack up a bit. We don't quite need to burst. And I'm not going to attack her. I just heal him anyway. Just so we don't give her any turn gauge. Like, I think we're in range of actually killing. I think I want to risk it for the biscuit here. Long as I crit... I should possibly do enough damage to get rid of her, but we're going to play it safe. We're going to play it safe, but I believe I'm in range of uh, burst damage. But we're going to go ahead and play it safe and do one of these numbers because she's not going to be able to do much. Like, look at that. Like, she's she's done for. This is pretty much game, and we can just burst for the finish. And that's pretty much it. It's a difficult battle, but, I mean, long as you watching her... Uh, turn bar effectively making sure you spam and spam and all charlotte shield 
Uh, because she just does so much damage. Your team being decently tanky is going to be helpful, and amongst a few other things that that you can be, that you can bring in. You can see that it can be done with a completely F two P team. You don't even need a turn bar booster. I mean. That could be helpful. I mean, if you had the if you had Chrome or something in here, that wouldn't be bad. But remember, we needed we needed two snipers, so it's kind of hard to bring two snipe uh, two snipers. But if you bring the Dark Nine, you don't necessarily need the Green. Oh well, you do need Green Lapis just to be able to get the Skill Stone. So yeah, okay. Unfortunately, you have to have uh, <laughs> you have to have two snipers. Dark Nine preferably for the Sap, and you need Green Lapis. You don't need Fram though, but the Provoke does help mitigate some of the damage. That's something that we do have now. Other than that, you'll be trying to use Chrome to take as many turns as possible and hopefully not take a lot of damage from the box. But I, I believe Charlotte is kind of important here for the shield because Vanessa, she can revive, but you'll be relying on Vanessa to revive every turn and you will be needing her burst at least max skilled because most of you probably won't have burst formation to be able to effectively get enough burst gauge to do so. So that's pretty much it. This definitely wasn't the same video, it wasn't 30 minutes this time. We did a lot better. I hope you guys enjoy and learn something new on clearing the 15th floor of the obelisk and this is your host gamer dude 2088 signing out saying much love god bless you all and you know deuces